Hey guys, today we are going to talk about something that is baseless and just fun. John Avon announced that nine months from now, so not in the Kaladesh or not in the other set that is linked to Kaladesh, but the set after that, he is going to release five cards with five new artworks in acrylic. Now John Avon is very famous for lands, and normally when you have a cycle of five, that will be five lands that will be either fetch lands or tangle lands. There's it, they will be the lands of the set. He's calling them, we're calling them the splash lands for now. And leave me a comment below what you would like the splash lands to be. There has been speculation that they could be the Zendikar fetch lands, and that would be fantastic. Uh, John Avon's art is a very good fit and a way to move product. So after Kaladesh's cycle or two block set is over, we get another set and I'm pre I'm already very hyped for it because Kaladesh, we're not going to get Zendikar Fetchlands, but it could be the next set. And if they are John Avon Fetchlands, probably worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. So pretty interesting post that he made. In nine months, we'll see what he's talking about. But until then, we can kind of make uh, baseless speculations. Uh, there's uh, rumors that they could be snow dual lands or here's the type of land that I feel like makes a lot of sense and can replace dual lands. I'm going to call them slow dual lands or slower. So when they come into play, just like crumbling vestige, cr crumbling vestige is a common. And what comes into play, it comes into play tapped and you can add one color of any color to your mana pool. But then you untap it and you can tap it to add a color list from that point on. I feel like the dual lands should work in reverse. So when it comes into play, you can add uh, a colorless to your mana pool, and then when it untaps that next turn, you can add a blue or a white, depending on what your two colors are. I feel like that is the perfect dual land. Uh, in my opinion, it's not as good as the originals, but it's pretty close. I would imagine that Wizard of the Coast has to at least upgrade their um, the card power somewhat. They've been really downgrading card powers for a while now. Um, ever since RTR, we've gotten weaker and weaker sets, uh, meaning the the way I define a weak set is does it see much play in modern? Do these cards see much play in modern when they rotate out? And for the most part, outside the cards of Tarkir lands, the recent ones haven't. And I really don't think anything in Shadows or Moon will be played that much in Modern or you know, a very low percentage of those cards will be played. So what are your speculations? Are you excited? Do you think we're going to get these Zendikar Fetchlands or do you think we're going to get something better? I hope we get something better because the player base really deserves it after all these pseudo buyouts. and um, it's, it's time. I know they can't touch the reserve list, but you can come pretty close. And there's some cards like the Magnus, Magus cards that mirror, and they, they cost the same, very strong cards on your reserve list. Um, so, hey, if you can't reprint it directly, you can reprint it indirectly, right? Bye, guys.